What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining back to my channel just to continue on the series of Get Up From Your Comforts. Woo, 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 woo. Y'all, thank you so much for sticking with me. Thank you so much for seeing what God is doing as far as the growth in this channel and the growth in every single one of you guys that have been very supportive, that have been sending me messages. Like, I really truly appreciate it because like I said as much as it's blessing me I thank God that it's blessing you just as much because God knows exactly what it is that you need and I come here to tell you about the week that I have had and just to give you my testimony and the title of this is don't sleep your test is making room for your testimony and I have just gone through a full circle moment, a full circle week. And I'm just going to share that with you because that goes into get up from your comfort. The things that I have been doing, you can start to feel comfortable with what, with what you feel. So basically this whole entire week before I want to say... Thursday, maybe Wednesday, I felt a little better. But from last weekend and going into this week, I was feeling down and I could not go a day without crying and I didn't understand why. I had no idea what was going on with me. I'm thinking to myself, Asia, what type of doors have you even opened for the enemy to come in to think that he can even play with you like that? Like, come on, like, who is it? But I'm like, I have not actually spoken to anybody. I don't go to people's houses. I'm not watching or seeing nothing that I can't handle as far as watching TV and listening to music that I can't handle. Um, I don't know what it is. And I had just started back my first last day of college, right? Because I graduate the semester. And I could not for the life of me understand why I was going through what I what it is like, like and then I got to the point I started to feed into it I was like well am I on the borderline of just being depressed like entry level because I'm not crazy and I'm not you know going through harsh stuff I'm just crying uncontrollably and I don't understand why it's like when I felt like I was alone by myself it was always tears if I felt like I was in the car by myself, though somebody went in to go pick something up real quick, I felt a tear coming on. When I felt like I would talk to people, tears came on and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I could I could watch funny stuff one minute and then be crying in tears. Like I was watching stand up comedy, old good stand up comedy at that, and I was still crying. And I was like, Are you serious, God? Like <laughs> not again. What is wrong with me? And then the next day Though I was feeling like trash, I ended up being in a situation where I had to take myself out of the equation. I had to counsel somebody else because they were in need. And though I felt like crap on the inside, I decided not to bleed on them, but to help them in their healing process. And sometimes we can find ourselves in those predicaments and those moments where we're doing things and we don't know that we're doing them. And it's not our fault. But if you know that it's happening, that's when you're able to say, okay, I'm going to make one or two choices. I'm either going to sulk or I'm going to get up. And that's precisely what I did. I got up. I was so worried about this individual that I took myself out of the equation. And then when I was done counseling her, I told her what was going on with me. And she said, well, Asia, you know what they say. You got to be down before you get up. You got to be low before you get high. So maybe you're about to transition into something greater. And I took that prophetically because then after I told my mom and I actually was honest with her because she was like, I felt you and I knew something was wrong. And I told her, I said, well, you obviously did not really truly see what you thought you saw because I had been like this almost all week. I just was a good person and a good sport at hiding it. And sometimes we feel like we're good at hiding things because when other people can see it, it's not a problem. Now I got to hide it, you know, but that's not even healthy. I got to the point where Asia, can you even be alone? Cause when you're alone, that's when it comes. But when you're alone, it's also when the enemy comes. 
And it's funny because I'm still praising God in the midst because I'm still a believer. I know for a fact that he's with me. And though I'm feeling this way, I'm still praising him in the midst of the storm. Ain't nothing stopping my praise. But I'm like, God, I don't understand. I'm just going to be honest with you. And I don't know. I don't like feeling like this. I don't want to feel like this. But I felt empty for a few days. I really did. And when I got in the car and I told my mom what was up, she was like, well, you know, cleansing is one of the symbols. Um, crying is one of the symbols of cleanse. And I took that prophetically. And then when I was sitting with myself, I started to really grasp what it was that was happening. It's like Asia, somebody needed to hear this. And that's precisely what happened. I had shared this with other people and I had no idea that other people were also dealing with the same thing that I was dealing with. And I said, Asia, it's, it's just the fact, and let me just tell you a woman, it's just the fact that God can use whatever it is that you're going through to get your attention. But most importantly, let you know that you still have work to do, that you're still needed. You know, because for a minute I was like, is it me? I said, either this is a demonic attack or I'm lying to myself about something that I don't want to own up to. And I don't know what it is. And how can I fix something? And I don't know what it is. But not knowing that there is somebody just like me that needs the guide to 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 know that they are not alone in what they feel like they might be alone in. And God just blew my mind because immediately I felt complete happiness that day. And most importantly, God knows who it is that you need to be around. You know how sometimes we we have those people who just bring out the best in us? I had to film that same exact day. And I said, okay, bet. And I came back and I praised him and I, and I felt good. And then Lord willing, and then Lord, Lord, Lord made it happen the next day when he woke me up, I felt better than before. I felt more happier. I felt like me again because I made that video and I was like, listen, your test is making room for your testimony. You are being cleansed because there are some new things that need to come in you and you cannot continue to hold the same weight that you've been holding, carry the same weight that you've been carrying. And it, it may not be anything bad, but God knows what you need. He knows you need to be filled up. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to fill you up. And literally when I, when I, when I allowed myself to to be washed clean. I said, okay, Lord, this, this, this is a lot of cleansing, but I needed it because who knows? It could have been tears from last year that I didn't get out. Cause I'm like, it's the beginning of the year. Why am I feeling like this? Like I was on a roll. Now I feel like I'm at a stump, but God is preparing me because I could have just said cold turkey to him had I felt that bad, had I also been who, had I still been in my sin and I could have doubted what he was doing, but I decided to trust him in the process. And he is surely showing me that trusting him will be, and it has been the, the best thing that I will ever do. Like, I am just so grateful to know him. And I'm so grateful that trouble truly don't last always. Like those clouds go because now that I know that I am on a mission to complete my assignment, huh? That's it. Not saying there won't be bad days, but I don't have time to sit around and dwell in the fact that I don't feel good when there is a soul out there that doesn't feel good, that needs me someone else and sometimes we just have to be it's okay to be selfish with yourself when it comes to God and your assignment because that is something that you were brought here to do and if God is giving you an assignment and a word deep down in your belly don't be closed mouths when he gives you stuff and don't just keep it to yourself because in that moment when I got home 
my mother was, um, she was talking about something and it had to do with finances. And immediately I felt in my spirit, money is not the need. The kingdom is the need. And I started to keep it to myself. But deep down in my spirit, I felt the Lord tell me, you need to tell her that money is not the need. And in, and in that moment, I let it sit with me. And then when I went to the, to, to the bathroom, just to freshen myself up before I left to go film, I said, Asia, you're just making room. God is about to do something big for you and you're just making room for it. That's it. That is all. Sometimes it could feel scary. Sometimes it could feel like we're not doing enough. Sometimes it could feel like we're overwhelmed. But understand me this. Hmm. Had to do my ebonics really quick. If the Lord said cast your, all your cares on him, I'm telling you, you need to do it. But trust the process. Because see, when I called him, he was there. Not as quick as I would have liked him to. But see, I had to figure out the root. I had to go back to the root. And the root was there were probably some things that I hadn't tied up that I needed to tie up. And now I'm refreshed, I'm cleansed, and I'm able to give what I'm supposed to give from a clean heart, my God. So I hope this blessed y'all. Cause I said, I know it's been a minute. And I know I done missed like what, one or two Tuesdays, but listen, this, this is the reason why. And I know there's somebody out there that may just be feeling the same as that way. And I really hope this has blessed you as much as it has blessed me being and living in the process and seeing the fruit. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, your test is making room for your testimony. Don't sleep. <laughs>